Dear students of class sixth from government girls upper primary school Batagun Zun Mawar Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today on dated 8th of August 2020 the day Saturday Our topic in subject maths is fractions What are fractions? Dear guys In your daily life you come across with very problems For example sometime you have something with you and you want to share it with your friend or with your brother what you do you cut the same thing into pieces the pieces separately these are called the fractions we can say what is a fraction that means fraction means the part of a group of a region if you have something as whole and you cut it into pieces each piece is called the fraction of this whole if you have an apple, you cut it into two pieces, into two equal pieces, and share it with your friend. How much each of you will get? You will get the half of this. As you have cut the apple into two equal parts, that means you each of you will have the half of this. That is one by two you get you and one by two will get your friend this one by two it is called the half if you take the one half and your friend takes the half if we put them again together your half and your friend's half it will again become a whole it will again become a whole this half your half or your friend's half it is the fraction as it is the part of a whole when we get the part of a whole, that is called the fraction. Now, dear guys, if you are four friends and you have an apple, you want to share it equally. What you did, you cut it into, you, what you do, you cut it into four equal pieces. Each piece is one fourth of this apple one fourth one by four it is called the one fourth you will get one fourth your second friend will get one fourth third will get one fourth and four will get one fourth that means this whole which was called by us as one it is called cut into four one fourths if these four one fourths are joined again that will again become a whole that is one that will become again a whole it is called the one now dear guys you have a bread you want to cut it into slices you cut into it into nine slices each piece one two three four five six seven eight nine each piece is ninth part of this whole that is one by nine this was first of all it was one bread you cut it into nine equal slices each slice is one ninth of this whole this is also one ninth this is one ninth this is one ninth when we put these one ninth together it will again become a whole that is one it will again become a whole if you want to eat eat this colored portion that means you want to eat three slices from this hole how much you have you then eaten out of this hole that is you have eaten one by nine plus one by nine plus one by nine that will be equal to three by nine that means you have eight the three by ninth of this hole now dear guys up to this what we have learned first of all we learned what is a fraction we mean know that fraction means part of a group of a region or part of a whole if you have something as whole if you cut into it some of it is part that will be called its fraction for example here one by two is a fraction this one by two is also fraction one by four is fraction here 
here it is 1 by 9 fraction as it is the part of this whole these are called the fractions how can we read, read a fraction this is uh, how can we read a fraction we it is read as um, 1 by 2 or 1 by 4 or 1 by 9 a fraction is read as 1 by 2 it is also called the half 1 by 4 as 1 fourth of whole 1 by 9 1 ninth of whole if we cut a piece into 5 equal parts then um, we should take 3 pieces out of these 5 parts how much we have got we can say 3 by 5th 3 by 5th if there is something with us and we divide it into 12 equal parts each part is 1 12th so we can read this fraction as 1 half 1 fourth 1 ninth 3 fifth or 1 twelfth what does this if we read here read here we have colored the 3 ninth of the whole what this 3 ninth means 3 ninth as 3 ninth is the fraction of this whole what does 3 stand for what 3 stands are for what 9 stands first of all we will see for what this 9 stands it is the number of equal parts 9 means the number of equal parts that has been made to this thing into which a whole has been divided the number which is shown under it is means the equal parts into which the whole has been divided it is also called the denominator this part the part which is on the lower side it is also called the denominator it means the into how many equal parts the whole has been divided and for what this upper portion here it is three for what this three stands it stands three means it is the number of equal parts which has been taken out if we have divided this whole into nine equal parts out of these nine equal parts how many parts we have taken out or how many parts we have shaded it is the forms this upper part here we have shaded three parts that means three will be written in this upper part it is also called the numerator that's the number which is on the above side which is written on the above side is called the numerator and the number which is written on the under side it is called the denominator the upper side means how many parts we have taken out of these total parts in which the whole has been um, divided the lower um, portion means into how equal parts this whole has been divided inshallah we will meet again tomorrow hope you will you have followed me if any problem contact me on my number assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh